Hey folks, Rich here at rcinformer.com. Today I just have a short video on uh, how to join wings. Uh, most wings uh, have typically a spar that we apply epoxy to and uh, we insert it into the wing and then we take the other wing and we join it together. It's a real common way of joining wings. We've been doing it this way for a long, long time. Uh, I have an enhancement to that. The following video is actually going to outline a lot of that. I'm going to have this tip and uh, more tips like it. Uh, on the how-to section on the rcinformer.com website. Uh, enjoy the video. Okay, when installing the wing or when gluing the wing together, this is a pretty typical uh, installation where there's just a spar and you put glue on them and then you go ahead and you put the wings together. Uh, first thing I like to check when I put them together is to see if there's any teeter, to see if basically the wings are flat. Uh, both surfaces are flat. If not, you'll feel a little movement, a little wiggle. These are not too bad. And if and if they are um, uh, if if they're not quite true or not quite flat, you're going to want to um, sand them with a sanding bar. The other thing too with wings like this um, is you know you're going to run epoxy and you're going to put epoxy all on this surface and glue it all together. One of the things I don't like is towards this trailing edge right here. Uh, you'll see that uh, the uh, ultra coat pretty much covers. Uh, the entire thing and it's very glue really doesn't stick to this stuff it only really sticks to the wood it won't really still to the ultra or it won't really stick to the ultra coat so what I find is, is I like to remove this edge so I get much more gluing surface and this little trailing edge portion here I know will get you know glued together a little bit better so what I'll do is I'll just take a razor blade and I'll uh, I'll cut all that off Okay, what I, what I usually do is I just take an, a, a razor blade, usually a single edge blade, and I just lay it right on the wood, and then just very carefully just run your razor blade down this way. You'll see that the edge comes right off nice and clean. And uh, you'll do that all the way down. And it, again, it's just very simple, and most of the time you're really not even going to cut into the wood or anything, and you're going to get a nice, clean, nice straight edge. Here's the finished um, wing root with uh, all of the uh, covering taken off and as you can see now you have some gluing surface back here and the overall whole wing you have a lot more gluing surface uh, to, uh, area to, to put the wing together so it'll overall bond together and it should be a much stronger wing. Um, then you can take a sanding bar if you need to smooth this thing out sand it out and do this to both of them to make sure you have two really good mating surfaces so they both go together nice and parallel. You don't want to do too much sanding because you don't want to take the dihedral out of it or, uh, or uh, just change any, uh, any, of the, any of the gluing surfaces too much. Here's the, uh, the finished wing ready to be glued after doing some sanding on both surfaces on this wing and on this wing. Uh, just some very light sanding with the T-bar. Now I can put them together and they both mate together perfectly. There's absolutely um, no teeter in this wing at all and they are like a perfect fit. So with the addition of um, all that extra surface area and now you have nice parallel true surfaces that will glue together well, uh, it'll all lead to really just a, a stronger wing. Th this is nothing that you have to do. Again, this is just a, a technique that I've developed over the years from just building different models. Uh, other models have had you do this in the past. So it's really nothing necessary that I invented or anything. But I, I found that uh, this is how I join all my wings and I found it really makes a superior bond uh, and just makes it uh, the model a lot better uh, and a lot stronger. Okay, folks, that concludes this video on uh, joining wings. I hope that uh, was useful for you and helped you out. Uh, there'll be more tips like this coming on the uh, rcinformer.com website up at the top. There's a how-to section. There's already some tips there and more are coming. So uh, please subscribe and stay tuned, and uh, we'll see you next time.